Now let us explore some of the logical functions in Excel. First, let us take a quick glance of a list of available functions that would be under the formulas menu and the logical section. And here is the list and false, if, if error, if any, ifs, not, or, switch, true, XOR. Now a couple of these functions would be recently introduced in Office 2019 and so they may not be compatible. For example, the switch function may not be compatible with the older versions of Excel and instead could return an error. So first, to begin with, I would like to touch base on the basic binary operations of Excel. So Excel understands the language of true and false. And if you were to put this in a binary format, then it would be in the form of one and zero. So there is no right or wrong, pass or fail, correct, incorrect, yes or no, none of these. Excel always returns the value in the form of true or false. So now, what if in case I want to see whether it's pass or fail? Let us say I have a score over here in economics. I scored 60 and in statistics, I scored 55. All right, now I would like to know whether my overall scores are greater than or equal to 50. So I say passing score is 50. Now I would pass if I score 50 or above in both the subjects. So ideally, I would use the if function and under the if function first I would test economics is it greater than or equal to 50. Well if it is true then I need to check the other one that is another if to see if 55 is greater than or equal to 50 and if this is true then I return as pass or else I return as fail. Now that's the end of the innermost if function. Now we come back outside. This is the function to be executed if the expression or the result of this expression is true. But what if it is not true? Then I need to again show as fail. Why? If economics is not greater than or equal to 50, then there is no point of checking whether statistics is greater than or equal to 50 because the student has already failed. So here we have this as pass or fail. Now that's great. But here we have two layers of a function. Now just imagine if there were five subjects, we would have had five layers of the if function. Now that's quite painful at times. So Excel gives us another beautiful function called as AND. Now what does this AND function do? Here under the AND function, you can test multiple criteria at the same time and it would give you a consolidated or combined result. That's a single result that you get. That's in the form of true or false. Let me show you how. I say equal and is 60 greater than or equal to 50. That's one condition to be tested. Comma is 55 greater than or equal to 50. Now you see if there are three more subjects, I can add similar kind of tests or logical tests for three more subjects as well. And I can go on for maybe well over 100 as well, such test cases. So I'll just close this bracket and see if it is coming out fine. Yes, it is true. Now, what if I did not score 55, but I scored 48 in statistics? You see, overall I have failed and the AND function also returns as false. So this function works perfectly. But now, the thing is here at least the if function helps me get the result in the form of pass or fail. But in this case, it only returns as false. And if I were to get this in a binary format, then I just need to multiply it with one. So if the result of the AND function is true, then anything multiplied by true, the answer will be the number itself. And if anything multiplied with false, Remember, false represents zero. That means anything multiplied to zero, the final result would be zero itself. So you get this in a binary format. 
but I would like to instead get it in the form of pass or fail. Now how does this work? For this, let us quickly understand how the if function works. I will copy this function here and paste it here. So for the if function, first it checks the outermost function is c6 greater than or equal to c9. Now what happens? I say, let's say here, c6 greater than or equal to c9. What is the result? It's true. So what is Excel doing in the next step? Excel will have this function over here and instead replace c6 greater than c9 by true. Why? Because we know that c6 greater than c9 is true. So this expression is replaced with the result of this expression that is either in the form of true or false. And then the if function observes this and checks. So if this is true over here, then the if function will execute whatever has been mentioned within this section that is value if true. That's the middle section. And in case if it were not true, that means, for example, if we were testing 48 to be greater than or equal to 50, the answer would have been false. So the result would have been something like this then. If false. So if it is false over here, then Excel will not execute the next if function. Rather, it will directly come on to the fail function. Fail. Rather, it would directly respond as fail. And that is how Excel works. Any test condition that you put over here, it will always return the result in the form of true or false. And based on whatever is mentioned over here, Excel or rather the if function will execute the appropriate part of the function. That could be either under value if true or value under false. So we now understand for if function, it just needs true or false. It doesn't care how many conditions you're testing. It's just that the function takes one condition at a time, but ultimately it's not one condition, but it takes one result. It can test only one result at a time. So then now I wonder, how about putting something like this? And function returns the result in the form of true or false. If function also understands the language of true or false. So how about combining both these functions? So I'll have something like if and then and 60 greater than or equal to 50 comma 48 greater than or equal to 50. I close the bracket. Now, if and returns the value of the result as true, then what to do? I say declare as pass. But what if it is false? Then I say declare as fail and close the bracket. Now this is much more leaner and simpler. We hit enter and see it's a fail.